It's live from the acrylic ranch 30 miles away from, well, you know where. Probably the most violent city in the nation. So I get up this morning and I make myself a cup of coffee and I see on my local news channel that Ronald McDonald has been asked to lay low until this whole creepy clown episode passes. I believe the term that they used was creepy clown epidemic, which I'm not sure that that was really the right word to use, but I certainly understood exactly what they meant. And uh, poor Ronald McDonald. I think the most terrifying thing about him is their hamburgers, but yeah, he's been asked to lay low until this whole thing blows over. So speaking of creepy clowns, Menashaw, Wisconsin. I don't know if any of you have seen this on your news feed or on your local television, but it was captured on police dashboard cam of two clowns that were terrorizing an intersection in Menashaw. And apparently, as after the police apprehended these two, uh, the driver of the car took these two clowns there was a 26 year old mom who left her four-year-old daughter home alone for hours so that they could go out and do their terrorizing now which one is more scarier the creepy clown or this mom <laughs> i laugh and i shouldn't laugh but fortunately the child has been put in protective custody under whatever authority that is in wisconsin and Mom and dad are going to be faced with their charges of child neglect in Winnebago County in Wisconsin. And hopefully, this poor kid will be okay. I hope so. Creepy clowns. Just run them over. Just don't tell them that I told you to run them over, but it's a mild suggestion. And hopefully, I uh, won't get anything slanderous from McDonald about their creepy hamburgers. I don't know which is worse. <laughs> creepy clown or a McDonald's hamburger. <laughs> ah. Anyway, it's October 13. Lucky 13. And it's a Thursday night. Which brings me to my next subject, which will be no surprise to anybody. Into the Fray Radio is on tonight. And tonight's discussion is going to be UFOs and alien abductions and the Dugway Proving Ground and Dulce Air Base and you know, Dulce I think is probably my favorite subject matter only because I read books and I have just been fascinated with the interviews of a couple individuals that claim to have come out of Dulce and the things that are going on there in the underground levels from alien DNA manipulation and human DNA manipulation and apparently the further down in these levels you go the more sinister it becomes it's fascinating and scary and everything else, all conspiracy into one little ball. But, yeah, that's Dulce. And Dulce, similar to that of Area 51, they have their signs posted that deadly force will be used if you try to approach that facility. So listen to Into the Fray Radio tonight for more information and subject matter about all this stuff. Go to IntoTheFrayRadio.com at 7 p.m. Pacific time and you can click on episodes and subscribe and it doesn't cost anything to subscribe. That's the beauty of this whole thing. Thank you, Shannon Legro. And you can participate in the chat room and Miss Shannon Legro will be in the chat room and a cast of thousands. Sometimes, you know, Ryan Sprague is there who's a show co-host or Sam Sheeran and all these listeners. But it's it's a lot of fun because you can ask questions to Shannon or to anybody about the show, you can ask questions, you can bring up any topic matter. There's really no boundaries here whatsoever, and it is a lot of fun. So, into the freeradio.com, you can catch it on your favorite podcatcher, even on iHeartRadio. How cool is that? So, there's no excuse, people. Get to Into the Fray Radio every Thursday, 7 p.m. Pacific time. And if you happen to enjoy anything out of the Acrylic Ranch, you can go to YouTube and type in Acrylic Ranch or my name as it appears on Facebook, Vance A. Nesbitt, and you can click subscribe on YouTube. 
And then you'll be notified when a new, very educational Acrylic Ranch video comes up and you'll become a lot smarter. So we'll talk real soon. Till next time.